YouTube fan, it's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another episode of Hood Tales, man. And tonight, we're going to take it to none other in Chicago, Southside, and talk about them clout boys. Let's get right into it. Chicago, the land of the ops. 30s, thots, smoking on packs, and some of the biggest gangs the world has ever seen. The Southside, 63rd and St. Lawrence to be exact. It's home to a group of young men that deboed their way in the industry and held their own in the Chirac Street Wars. FBG, short for Flyboy Gang. They also go by the name Clout Boys. The squad gained their name from being young, slick, fly guys who had a lot of clout or respect in the streets. The groups like Mubu, Man Up, Band Up, and King Louie or OTF 300, Brick Squad, and 600 were mashing the gas in the drill scene, but FBG wasn't too far behind. With their ops or enemies already in the industry, the Clout Boys had to grind extra hard to gain notoriety and gain a name for themselves outside of Chicago. One name FBG goes by is Tukaville or Tuka Gang, paying homage to their fallen comrade. Shondell took a Gregory, who was 15 years old and unfortunately was hit up on a Chicago bus stop. As the ops was heating up in the industry, FBG started saying they were smoking their fallen brother Tuka to show love. The sand would actually get flipped on the squad by their ops. And before you know it, Keith, Dirk, and others were saying they was rolling and smoking the young man to show disrespect. As Keith and Dirk was hitting the industry, their squads and FBG were still in the streets, trying to catch each other lacking. Clout Boys ENT was a label that FBG Young and FBG Cash Dad started to help the squad focus on their business and their brand to make a way in the music game. FBG consisted of FBG Duck, FBG Young, FBG Cash, FBG Dutchy as the main faces, but adopting King Lil J, Billionaire Black, and a few others to collab with in the music and in the streets. Some other key players who were not rappers in the beginning were FBG Wooski, Butter, and the famous alleged female assassin, K.I. The Clout Boys was talented, and people wanted to know who were these young men Keith and Dirt was always talking about. The Chicago Drill Movement was taking the world by storm and had people fascinated. As the squad with this, and be highly disrespectful in the music. But this wasn't just banging on wax, on wax. It started in the streets. First, the famous Old Block Parkway Gardens, Normal and 60th Street, home of Old Block, Land Run, and 600, which is in close uh, proximity with 63rd. The group says kids actually played together and hung out together. Once the beef heated up, they were forced to pick sides. Some FBG members, such as Wooski, actually used to hang in Old Block with his brother, being an Old Block member. But at first, it was just fights and catching each other at the school, on the bus or whatever. Eventually though, it led to bloodshed and bodies being dropped. O.D. Perry and Shondell Tuka Gregory being the reason for both squads renaming their hoods. As far as who did what and who blicked that who, I'm sure if you've been following the drill movement as long as me, then you already know. But back to the music. FBG Duck were proved to be the face and standout artist for the Clout Boys. With some earlier songs like Right Now gaining the attention of the world, but the Clout Boys, even though super talented, felt like they was being blackballed because they ops had already gotten the industry. But the squad never stopped grinding and they had the streets behind them. As time went on, names like Lil J and Duck would be mentioned in the Chicago Drill Movement as the major players. Duck with the ability to play with words and put his pain and thoughts in music was making a name for itself. Lil J being super disrespectful as possible and kind of like a bully with the music, with both sides taking shots and either dropping or cracking each other's signs, the BDs and GDs were completely different from the times of Hoover and Boss Dev. 
More notoriety would come to FBG as major names in the industry would repeat the lyrics of Chief Keith saying smoking Tuka, in which FBG would get on that immediately and make them apologize. With a lot of people saying, saying it being from out of town, claim they thought it was a strand of grass, but it was actually a 15-year-old boy who fatally lost his life. K.I. or Jakir was part of the Flyboys, and sources allege after losing a close friend named Taekwon would seek revenge and go hard for a squad. As things was getting active in the streets, unfortunately, K.I. would lose her life in an assassination style hit in which the squad and their ops would go back and forth to stay up on the score with each other and seeking revenge. FBG brother, FBG Brick, who was incarcerated during the rise of the Clout Boys, would come home and start dropping music as well. Things were bad in the streets, but the music was actually doing good. But in Chicago fashion, bodies were still dropping, and FBG would start taking major hits. When FBG Brick and Kobe Mack were hit up and lost their lives, it was a tough blow for the Clout Boys. Not to mention Lil J and FBG Butter fighting a body. The team was subtracting. FBG cash in and out of jail, but Duck would hold his head and keep grinding. Not before taking another loss though. FBG can't get right. It was like the squad couldn't win for losing, but determined and feeling the need to succeed to take care of his people and put on for his family members, FBG Duck got in his bag and went to extra grind. Duck gained a viral following and eyes on him in the industry once he dropped the party banger slide, basically letting the industry know that the clout boys were still there and they was getting in one way or the other. The song would lead to Duck getting a major deal. Finally, after all the hard work and losses in the streets, FBG was finally a household name and money and life was good. Clout Boys ENT was still a label and Young, Dutchy, and Cash was still here. But Duck was signed a one-man deal with members such as Wooski recovering from being hit up and Butter being released. The Clout Boys just had to be patient with the movement and let Duck get all the way in. But as voices from the other side still dissing and more rappers coming up, such as King Von, shots were still being taken at the squad. With one saying that would seem to take off, with Von saying and let it be known, he was not from 63rd, the home and stomping grounds of the Clout Boys, and telling stories with Duck lookalikes in the video. Even though success was in Duck's hand, even pinning his pride to the side, dropping Chicago legends, showing love to both sides, the disrespect was just too much, and Duck would go back to his old style and drop a diss for his squad. Unfortunately, FBG Duck lost his life. FBG Duck, in my eyes, was the heart of the clout boys. He would be shopping in Chicago Gold Coast District, where he would be hit up and unfortunately pass away. The heart was gone. Other members still around, like Young, Dutchy, Cash, and Wooski, but things are just not the same. I literally followed the Chicago movement since Pac-Man and Dro style, and to see Duck come up, I was happy for him and his people. I'm old enough to understand the trauma and pain of both squads, and I don't pick sides. Moral of the story, the streets play dirty. As soon as you make it out, somebody or something will bring you right back down. RP, FBG, Duck, Brick, KI, Tuka, Can't Get Right, and others. And shout out FBG, Clout Boys. And y'all know my saying, succeed not to fail. So you won't be just another hood tale. Love fam, be sure to like, comment, share. I'm out.